welcome back guys in this presentation i am going to explain about an open source python library named as GeoServer rest which can handle the geospatial data in the GeoServer. so let me give an introduction to geospatial data first Generally, the data with locational information is called geospatial data. It's used to create geographic models and data visualization for more accurate modeling and prediction of trend. Mapping, surveying, navigation, etc. are the example of this geospatial data. So let's talk about GeoServer now. So GeoServer is an open source server written in java it allow user to share process and edit geospatial data that means locational data it's designed for interoperability it publishes data from any major spatial data source using open standard like wms wfs it can easily connect to the web maps web based maps such as open layers and leaflet which are the library of javascript so let's see the importance of GeoServer so in the left side you can see the different type of data sources and in the middle which is GeoServer GeoServer act as the server and then convert this different type of data source into the services like web feature service wfs web map services wms web coverage service wcs and kml for google maps so here are lots of data sources like vector file or uh, data sources can be a database like postgis oracle and other database and it can be a services like wfs and it also can be a raster dataset, GeoTIFF, NetCTF, Image Mosaic, JPEG 2000, etc. Then GeoServer stores this kind of different kind of data source into the server, and then it it allow user to get this data through WFS, WMS, WCS, and KML services. So why we need GeoServer? GeoServer is needed for different kind of services and requests which are OGC, some of the OGC standard are request are WMS, Web Map Service, WFS, Web Feature Service and WCS, Web Coverage Services and it, it, it has large number of vector and raster data support and it provides the nice GUI to handle and visualize the data without knowing coding. It can uh, handle the big data set, like we can store the huge zip uh, file or huge zip file into it, and uh, but that cannot be handled from other mapping libraries directly. So GeoServer is very important for spatial data management and okay let's talk about the GeoServer REST now so the GeoServer REST is the open source python library for management of geospatial data it it can share the data between a uh, client and server mainly the geospatial data like raster and vector data it has already 8k plus downloads and it's developed under MIT license it has four dev dependencies like for installing this library you need to install gdal pycarl psychobg2 and seaboard okay uh, let's get an example so this one is the nepal geojson file which is loaded directly into the uh, map box and this one is the Nepal same Nepal district geojson which is loaded in the geo server which is default view 
and this one is through the GeoServer REST API, GeoServer REST library. So here you can see the map is not much attractive and we need to write the extra block of code for improvement of quality of map. It takes little bit longer time to load because it's the JSON data and web browser did not fetch the data, large volume of data uh, in short time. So uh, we, we may face the big data problem uh, uh, while we load GeoJSON directly into the map box or uh, like uh, open layer or leaflet. So this uh, this one is the GeoServer default view. So here we we can improve the loading time. It it loads faster because it provides the WMS web map services, and it's also not kind of uh, attractive visualization, but it can handle the big data easily. Actually, we can make this map this GeoServer map to looks like this, but we need to uh, upload our SLD file separately and then configure link between this uh, layer and the style file. But with the help of GeoServer REST, we can achieve everything uh, using this library. Like we can improve the loading time and we, we can add the attractive visualization and improve the quality of map just by passing some parameter into the function. We'll, uh, I'll explain about this uh, later in the series, but uh, it's the general overview of this GeoServer REST library. So uh, the GeoServer REST has major three functionalities like it will create, update and delete the workspaces. And it can be create, update and delete the layers like uh, we, we have the two different type of data actually layers I mean and these are raster data and vector data raster data are generally called as coverage store and vector data are generally called uh, feature store in GeoServer also we can create delete and update the style files like we can generate the dynamic style from the uploaded zip file or uploaded raster file or we can uh, define the SLD file by ourselves by passing some parameter into the function. We can discuss about this later in the series. So here is the sample code. This first line of code is uh, for installing GeoServer REST framework. It's uh, for installing this library you need to manually install the GDAL at first and after that we can improve uh, import it from geo.geoserver and this line will insert the uh, insert the library geo equal to geoserver and geoserver link and geoserver user and geoserver password and this will create the coverage store coverage store mean this will upload the raster data into the uh, into the our geo server uh, data directory and it publishes our layer is the name is layer one inside workspace demo so after that we can simply create coverage style that means create the style file for raster and we can we have to just pass it pass some parameters like raster path and it will automatically read this raster file and create the style file uh, according to this raster and then also uh, we can specify style name or space name and color ramp based on this color ramp uh, the style file will be automatically generated and also we can upload the style by simply passing some path to SLD file and specifying workspace and we have to then publish styles. So here is the same thing for feature style. So we created the feature style and we can publish the feature style as well. So here are some sample code for deleting workspace, layer and style. 
okay these are the major things from geo server rest hope you enjoy it i'll see you in the next